Each of us have a certain personal style that we are born with, and that is influencing what we like and what we dislike. And here's where it comes really from a biblical perspective, is God has created you uniquely and perfectly for the assignment that he has for you. So here's the question, are we nature or are we nurture? Are we born the way that we are or does our environment shape us? And so what is the right answer? Well, the right answer is actually yes, it's both. So we were born with a certain preference, what we call preferences, and we created our personal style indicator because we didn't really like some of the other ones that are out there and we wanted to honor the participants. And then the other side, the nurture, your, the, the environments that you're a part of, the people that are teaching you, who you're around, the power of association, the learning that you do, the education, your biophysical factors, all of those contribute to your personhood. There was a study done in, uh, by TalentSmart, which is an independent company, and they said, what percentage of people can realize their potential without the knowledge of personal style? And their research study said 2%. Well, why is that? because everywhere we go, we take us. So your preferences are impacting your relationships. Your preferences or personal styles impacting uh, how you do your job, how uh, you interact with others. Now, I challenge people with this. God has perfectly created you with the right personal style for the assignment that he has for you. But we need to know who we are. So intentionality, one of my favorite words, can be part of what we know. So a lot of times, if we go back to the purpose research around the fact that 90% of people dislike what they do from mildly irritated to loathe, one of the reasons is we get trapped into jobs and roles that are not part of our assignment, not part of our preferences. If we are in a job or a role where the nature of me does not match the nature of the position, then my engagement is not sustainable. So it behooves us that we would get clear about who we are. Now, let me clarify. Personal style is something we're born with that stays consistent throughout our lifetime. Other people call it personality, but personality in our definition is something that grows and matures. Well, how's that possible? Well, we have nature and we have nurture. So the two of them come together. So my maturity, if you become an influenced over the Holy Spirit as a believer, obviously I'm going to be different, but my preferences stay the same. And here's why this is important. If nature wasn't consistent, then that means that I would change to be somebody different tomorrow. You would change to be different. The nature part, and God was so wise, is you can count on you being you tomorrow. What if you had completely different interests every single morning? If you had a completely different persona every single morning, that would be chaos, right? And so we can count on us being us throughout our lifetime, but there's two parts to this. We have strengths that come with it and there's weaknesses. So our responsibility as individuals and believers is that we need to mitigate the weaknesses. In other words, reduce them. And that every personal style has related strengths and challenges. So we need to be in control of self. That's where the Holy Spirit comes in, where we manage ourselves. You know, the fruits of the Spirit apply to all of us, but it's going to apply to us differently because of our personal style. So my encouragement is, is that you would go off the grid <laughs> from this segment, find out what your personal style is, take ownership of that. And why aren't you more like me? Because I'm uniquely created. The other thing that comes by understanding yourself is you will also then understand others and our grace towards others, our acceptance towards others increases. Hey, did you marry somebody or have a partner who's different than you? And what you are attracted to now irritates you within your marriage? Never happens, right? Joke. So the reality is, is that each of us are not waking up in the morning to irritate each other, but our differences can if we don't understand self and don't understand others. Why aren't you more like me? because you are called to be uniquely you.